Welcome back. In this third video of our Generating Reports with Python series, we'll generate HTML reports. We'll also learn how to convert such HTML report to a PDF document. Hi everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome to Just Into Data, where data science materials are shared and made simpler for you. All right, as you may recall in the first video, we've created some content for reporting. So two data frames, SP500 history, an SP500 history summary, as well as a line chart that was saved as chart.png file on the local computer. Let's use them to generate an HTML report. HTML is a standard markup language for creating web pages. We can embed an HTML format report easily on a web page or an email. So it's also popular for different use cases. We'll cover two main methods of generating HTML reports in Python. One is a basic one, and the other is to generate one with templates using the library called Jinja2. In the end, we'll also convert the HTML report to a PDF document. Before generating any reports, it's always a good idea to think about how you want the report. So let's take a look at the final HTML document we will build. Here it is. Up here, we have a page title of my report, a heading, of daily S&P 500 prices report, some text saying hello, welcome to your report, followed by a line chart, and two tables of data. With this final report in mind, let's head to Jupyter Lab to generate it. First, we'll use the basic approach to generate such HTML report. We can define HTML code as a Python string and then write or save it as an HTML file. Here's the code. Let's take a look. At the beginning, we set up multiple variables to store the titles, all the other text within the report. Next, we combined these above variables as a long F string of code. Within the F string, we define the HTML document, including the head, which contains meta information about the HTML page, including the title of the page. This variable, page title text, is defined above as my report. The body, which is a container for all the visible contents, such as h1, p, img, table. So from top to down, we are displaying an h1 heading as a title text variable, which is a string of daily S&P 500 prices report, a paragraph using the text string here, hello, welcome to your report, an image within this img element we include the chart.png file that was saved on your computer. Then an h2 heading of prices text variable, which is this string, historical prices of SP500. To include the data frame as HTML tables, we use a toHTML method. For simplicity, we only render the last three rows of this data frame SP500 history. Also, another h2 heading of this variable stats text which shows historical prices summary statistics. Then followed by the history summary data frame. Now this string of HTML stores the entire HTML document. At the end, we can write this HTML string as an HTML file called htmlreport.html. If we run this and go to the working directory, there should be a new file called htmlreport.html. We can open this HTML document in any modern browser. I'll use Chrome. There it is. We can match all the elements we've set up in the HTML document to this report. We have page title as my report, an H1 heading, paragraph, image of line chart, H2 heading, the historical price table, another H2 heading, followed by the summary statistics table. We'll leave the report as it is. If you want to style this HTML report more, please learn about CSS. With CSS, you can control almost anything, including the color of text, font, spacing between elements, background color, and so on. Besides a basic approach, we can also use a templating engine to generate the same HTML report. We'll use Jinja2. With Jinja2, we can put special placeholders in the template 
to allow writing code similar to Python syntax. Then the template is passed data to render the final document. So we can easily create an HTML template, then use it with Python-like syntax. This is especially useful when you're using complicated templates for reporting over and over again. Before getting to the code of generating reports, we need to create an HTML template with variables. This is my current working directory. I saved the template under this folder called templates. Let's open it. You can see the file report template.html. You can download this file from the GitHub repo. Let's open the file in the text editor. We are still creating the same HTML report, but the syntax of Jinja's template is different from Python strings. You can read more about its syntax on their website, which I'll put a link in the description. For example, two curly brackets are used as placeholders for expressions like variables. With these variables, such as page title text, title text, and so on, set up in the template, we can specify their values later, which you'll soon see. Now we're ready to ask Python to generate the report. Here's the code to generate the same HTML report using the template file. To use Jinja 2, we import its environment and file system loader. Then, using Jinja 2's environment, we can create a template environment object called env. This will be used to load templates. This loader argument tells Jinja to look for templates stored within a file folder called templates. As shown earlier, we saved the template under a folder called templates. You can also use other loaders to load templates in other ways or from other locations. Please check the doc for details. I'll put a link in the description. Then, with this environment setting, we can load the template from the environment. We use a get template to load the template file set up earlier called report template.html. Next, we need to render the template with variables. Let's put the report template.html file on the side so that we can look at it together with the code. As you can see in the template, the variables within these double curly brackets are set as specific values in the Python code. Jinja will embed them within the template. For example, Jinja will take this title text equals daily S&P 500 prices report and render it as the H1 heading here, according to the HTML template. At the end, we just need to write the template to an HTML file. Again, this will save the file as HTML report Jinja.html in the current working directory. To recap, we first created a template in the working directory called report template.html. Then we create the Jinja template environment to load such template file. Then we render the template with variables in Python, followed by writing the HTML report. Let's run this and go to the directory. We can see the new HTML report Jinja file is generated by Python. Let's open this file in the web browser. It looks the same as a previous example of HTML report. Going back to the Python code, you might wonder, Jinja 2 doesn't seem to be very impressive in this example. It seems similar to the basic approach, except that we use some Jinja 2 methods like get template and render versus the very long F string. But imagine if you have a much more complicated report and you want to reuse it, then Jinja would make it much easier. All we need to do is change these variable settings here to different values. For example, we can have different page title, different data frame to display here, and so on. Now you have the report in HTML format. What if you also want PDF documents to share with a broader audience? We can use a package called WheezyPrint to convert HTML to PDF. Using the code here, we can convert the HTML file to a PDF file. We first import HTML and CSS from ReasyPrint. Then use HTML, then write PDF method to convert the HTML file, HTML report Jinja.html, to a PDF file called WheezyPrint PDF report. 
CSS.pdf with an inline CSS stylesheet. Within the stylesheet of CSS, we specified the page size, margin, and make the table header and cell with solid black border. Now if we run it, and then go to the current working directory, there should be a WheezyPrint PDF file added. Let's open and take a look. This is a nice PDF report that's ready to be shared. It has the same content as the HTML report, a chart, and two tables. In the next video, we'll learn how to generate PDF reports directly in Python so that you don't have to go through the HTML content first. Did you learn something new in this video? If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below this video right now. If you're interested in more data science tutorials and courses, please head over to our website, justintodata.com. Thank you and see you in the next video.